I was saying everything but the right thing on that guy dog on walkie talkie. Do you hear what I'm saying? When I said them people was laughing at me all day today. That I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is the nervous that we play Staring next to you and I would like to welcome you to a house of fitness, fashion, beauty, and entrepreneurship. As y'all guys can see, I am getting ready for my first day of work. I am very excited and I cannot wait to get home to tell you guys about my day. Now, actually, it's technically not my first day because I had to go through training and all the assessment tests and let me just say this y'all i am about to walk into something very very foreign simple but foreign uh i don't know I'm not going in there negative. I'm not going up in there with a I can't do this kind of mindset. I'm not used to this kind of mindset because I got to take care of some things. And this is a serious sacrifice for me, Shaquita Taylor, and Royal Goddess. So I got to do what I got to do, y'all. But I done told y'all my mind is busy. I got a busy mind. I got a busy mind. I got a busy mind. But whatever. How I look. Daddy, how I look. Dun, 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 dun. Like a damn snitch. Oh, man. That's cold. <laughs> how I look. How y'all think I look? look? How I look, y'all. I got on your uniform. They come with some cargo pants. I like the little pants and stuff. They're fr real cute. Shit, I might wear these as an outfit one day. Because they gave me, um, I'm going to say three of them. They gave me three of them and stuff. You got the big pockets and stuff on the side. Things like that. You got your little, can't do nothing with this shirt. But I had got some makeup on it. So I was trying to get that makeup off it. So it'll dry. Things like that. I didn't want to go up in here doing too much. Let me put y'all back up so y'all can see me. I didn't want to go up in here doing too much because I do hair. Remember? I have all kind of alter egos. Remember? So I don't want to go up in here like as, as if I'm showing out. Or, whatever, or, or she just trying to wear a different vibe every day. It's hot in this warehouse. I'm not about to be wearing no natural hair. I'm not about to be wearing no long wig. So yes, there is, so yes, they're going to get a variety of looks from me, which is Bob's. 
Then I get to comb my hair regularly. Then I get to look like somebody that's halfway decent. Okay, I don't have no lashes on, all this kind of stuff, because I ain't trying to create a ruckus, because y'all already know the new person always get all this attention. I ain't trying to go up in here with all this attention. I just want to go sit in the corner and do my job, and uh, you know what I mean? So let's go and see what this day is going to be like. Let's roll. drying right now i have that uh indian clay called um azatic something like that the indian clay the biotin biotin that's what's on my face right now because the wigs is starting to break the side of my face out and but anywho moving forward let's talk about my first day on the job Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let me just start off by saying this. First and foremost, I am not degrading no one who have a nine to five. Nobody. Because everybody have their place in life. Okay? Jobs is not for everyone. But at the same time, they got people out here on jobs making lots of money. Lots of money. You just have to know your place in life. But I just want to say this. I understand what I've been a professional hustler my entire life. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Don't get me wrong. I prayed and I asked God for it. And he gave me something more than what I asked for. I'm right down the street. And I'm sitting on my butt all day long. Not doing nothing. Literally. Nothing. Not doing nothing. I may get up every now and again and wind somebody in and out the the warehouse or what have you but other than that i'm not doing nothing even got in trouble today because these kids they flock to me they flock to me because i'm cool you know what i'm saying and i talk to them i instill in them i pour in them because they range from like 22 to probably about 26. y'all know that's my kids age so when they come over there talking crazy about their life stories and, 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 and what all they done been through, please, you ain't been through nothing. You was a baby. So, anywho, let me just say this. Let me just get off into today. First off, my description is to wine the people who work at DP. I'm security. Security and DP is two different entities. The name of the warehouse and stuff is DP World, okay? We are the security over DP World Warehouse. My description is I am in Logistics 1. They have two logistics. They got one, they got two. I'm two. I meant to say I am Logistics 2. Logistics 2 is where they don't have too much traffic, okay? Logistics 1 is the area where... 
they do the most at. You know what I'm saying? It's more action over there. They have a cage inside of the warehouse, right? Where the truck drivers come in. The truck drivers come in, but they can't go past that cage. My job is to sit inside that cage and make sure that the truck drivers don't come in, but also send them to the other side to Jalistics One, okay? Now, let's just say the actual people who work inside the warehouse, like the, the fork lifters and stuff like that, Lots of times they have to go outside um, and put seals on the back of the truck or cut the seal off the truck. So I have to wind them in and out. Okay, I got to wind them out. I got to call it in. When they come back in, I have to wind them back in and I have to call it in. Now, what I mean when I say wind, the metal, the hand metal detector, I got to wind them. Okay, so let me just say this. Now, y'all know. I ain't been there long enough to understand the language, right? I ain't been there long enough to understand the language. Now, they done gave me my little cheat sheet and stuff on the back of my badge. I have the cheat sheet. So, which means that everybody got walkie-talkies. Everybody got walkie-talkies. And, every, and, and, of course, there's a certain language that they do over these walkie-talkies. Okay, tenfold, copy, check. All this old type of stuff. Mind you, child, I was saying everything but the right thing on that guy dog on walk and talking. Do you hear what I'm saying? When I say them people was laughing at me all day today, I'm I'm trying to understand like every time when I get ready to go take a bathroom break or whatever, and I got to pass a little certain crowd of security guards up there, everybody giggling. And you know they call you by your last name. So they were like, Miss Taylor, you you is funny as ever. And I'm like, funny? What's what's making me funny? Because I don't know whether to get insulted or smile with them. What's making me funny? Because I'm not here to amuse nobody. Because I don't want to be here. Because if it's going to be as boring as this here, I ain't going to make it. I'm not going to make it. At all. So, anywho, when, when it's time for me to take a bathroom break, I'm constantly saying I need to take a 1090. 1090 means a lunch break. When you want to go on a bathroom break, you got to say a 10100. Okay? I didn't know that. I'm learning. So every time I had to take a bathroom break, I have to call in, you know, uh, logistics wants to command, command, come in. Oh, I need to take, I'm going to take me a 1090. That's what I was saying. So they kept on saying like, how many lunch breaks she going to take when I'm supposed to be saying <laughs> 10, 100, which means the bathroom. So I kept getting that wrong. Then on top of it, it's called logistics. I was saying jalistics. So they busting out laughing at me with that. I'm like, you know what? You know what? <sighs> I had a long day today. That's all I want to see. Over time, I, I don't see that happening. I, I don't see that happening because my brain was getting beat to death with me being inside my head. I am a busy body. I have to constantly move. I have to move around. I have to do stuff. And that, that, that I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But God damn it, I'm complaining. That's too boring. That's too boring. And then the strict part about it is you cannot have no phones, no books, no nothing. No nothing. No nothing. People sneaking, doing, seeking, find puzzles inside. I got a desk, right, that I sit. And they got a draw to this desk. So you could do like your puzzles inside the desk can't be on top of the desk because you're hiding doing them. If you can get past the metal detectors, you're fine. But you're not supposed to have them. So you're having it back there at your own risk. Because if you get caught, you get fired. 
because it's, 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 it's told to you on a serious level before coming in there. No nothing back there. No nothing. No nothing. No nothing. So you just sitting there looking at all these big wooden crates. There's a bunch of big wooden crates everywhere, everywhere. And then these wooden crates is like motherboards. And it's like this is some database information to where like hospitals, uh, 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 banks and all that kind of stuff use these big database, big technology things or whatever type stuff and they come like in these big old wooden crates and they they say they work like uh seventy thousand dollars or something to that nature you feel what i'm saying and then they have like chips and stuff that they want you to oversee and i can understand the strictness you know they want you to be very alert so you don't see nothing coming or going you know because that type of information is very valuable and they have people whole lives on it. So I get it because that warehouse works for Google. You understand what I'm saying? But with that being said, it's too strict. It's too strict. And I can't see the overtime stuff getting no time and a half and all that work language stuff is too boring. No, no. So I had to sit there and I had to talk to God. I had to have a very long talk with God, y'all. I had a very long talk with him. And I said, I begged you for this job. I asked you for this job. I've been trying to find a job for months, but my little situation just wasn't allowing me to be great. And here you come blessing me with something seven minutes away. And I have to not do nothing but sit there. Sit there. I can't ask for a better blessing than that. But at the same time, y'all, I guess this is God's way of slowing me down. This is God's way of saying, take a load off. This is God's way of saying, spend more time with me. Spend more time with me. What y'all do? I spend lots of time with my father. I talk to my father all day, every day. Please believe me, he right here. Can't shake him if I wanted to. But I don't want to. I don't want to live this life without him. I don't want to walk this walk without him. I don't. Because every time I try to do it my way, I mess it up. Not to mess it up to the de degree of, you know, no recovery and no comebacks from it. But I don't want to keep doing it my way. I want to do it his way. I want to do it his way. But I, I, I don't know, y'all. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know why there. Why he picked there. Am I supposed to be ministering? ministering to these babies because that's all I did today. When I said these kids was coming at me left and right, pouring their business at the altar of my feet, that was my entertainment talking to them. That's how I got in trouble. You When, you, when they want to talk to you personally, they'll make you go to Channel 7 on a walk and talking and then they come telling me um, I need to hold down my crowd. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Tell that to them. Tell that to them. And then they're going to take them a walk and do like a little round or whatever, a warehouse patrol or whatever, and they'll come right back and pick up with their story where they left off at. And I love talking to them, you know what I'm saying? But as far as I'm concerned, I'm just happy they're in there working because they could be doing other things. They could be doing other things. I'm just, I tell them, I tell them all the time. Well, I was telling them all today about how proud I was of them because they could be using um, our bad society and how the world going as an excuse not to find a job or get a job. So they're showing up. So that's all that matters. That all that matters for me. And then on top of that, everybody coming at me left and right. Oh, you the hairdresser. Oh, you the hairdresser. Oh, you the one did Miss Kim here. Oh, you the one did Sakaya here. Oh, you the one that's doing Miss Gwen Mama here. Trust you me. I ain't been in the door five minutes. And I'm pulling them in. I'm pulling them in. I'm pulling them in. But I didn't go there to gain, to gain no damn clients. I didn't go there to gain no clients. I went there to get away from this for a little while, get me out the house 
for a little while. Be around some people other than these kids and this damn dog. And also make me some money so I can get these rims in my my windshield, wash machine, whatever, you know, whatever type of stuff. But um, I just wanted to come on here and explain to y'all my first day. The people are great. Everybody is sweet. Everybody is nice. But uh, I don't know, y'all. But I can't go back on my word with God. I made a promise to him. That this was gonna be a sacrifice, that I that I take care of my business with this right here. So I can't go back on my word. But man, I'ma need some help. I'ma need some help. I'ma need. Some, I, I I can't see how y'all do this. I, I, for all my security guards, no disrespect, but security is for lazy people. Security is for lazy people. Easy money, just sitting around on your butt doing basically nothing. Basically nothing. Now, I'm quite sure they have some sites that let you have your phone, let you do certain things. But this one right here, you ain't doing none of that. You ain't doing none of that. But I applaud y'all nine to fivers. I applaud y'all nine to fivers. The ones who getting up every day, going to work. I used to tell my ex-husband that all the time. I applaud you because I don't see how you do it. And then he out there in the hot sun. Absolutely not. Because I'm burning up in the warehouse because they do not have air condition or heaters in there. And I thank God that it's about to get cold because me and them wigs ain't going to make it. Mm -mm. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. And me trying to wear this natural hair out, not going to make it. Not going to make it. So I don't know what I'm about to be doing to my head. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm going to have to suffer it out until I wash my hair because my hair tore up underneath this binding. So I'm going to have to wear these little bobs or whatever until I'm able to wash my hair and do something with it. But this this, 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 this is about to be a, a situation. Then I'm trying to figure out how in the hell I'm going to find the time to vlog and edit and stuff because once you be gone all day long, you ain't, that's the last thing in the world you trying to come here and do what kind of damn content I'm gonna come home and do after nine o'clock. My day gone. I've been gone all day. I'm tired. I want to take these clothes off, take a bath and lay down. So look like we're gonna be having some bedroom chronicles. Lots of them until I get past this little situation right here. Yeah. Yeah, I just want y'all to pray for me and, and ask God to give me the strength to keep doing this. To keep doing this, y'all. Give me to the end of the year. Give me to like, like I'm going to say by Christmas. <sighs> y'all some soldiers, man. Y'all some soldiers. Y'all some soldiers. Because I can't do it. I can't do it. All I was thinking about is, man, they be here all day to, to make how much? Dang, they ain't no money, man. I do two heads and make their whole paycheck for a week, damn near, literally. Like, I can't do this. I got too much stuff I got to do than to be putting all these hours in. For what, six, seven hundred dollars at the end of the week? Which is decent money for a kid, for a 25-year-old, but for a grown-ass woman with some grown-ass bills? Nah. Yeah, you're right. That's for rims and a goddamn windshield. Exactly what I'm doing it for. But no disrespect. No disrespect. Because it, it's a blessing to even have a job. Because these days, you need three, four of them to survive. And I just thank God that I'm blessed with a skill. I'm blessed with a skill. And that's why I can't escape it. Because it's like dope money. It's like drug money. It's fast money. I know how to hit a quick lick. I say, I tell them, I tell more no than yeah. I turn down more heads than the ones than I do, than what I accept. That's because I'm just ready to do something different, y'all. I'm just ready to do something different. The industry. 
I'm going to do the industry. But at the same time, on another level, getting from behind the chair, teaching classes, selling uh, uh, tools and products and stuff like that. That's, that's where I'm trying to go at with it. I ain't trying to be pressing no hell forever or doing no damn wigs, man. Cause that that's 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 getting played. That's getting played to me. Cause I've been doing it for years. But I say uh let like to say I thank God for my skills. I thank God for my gift because no matter how much I try to run from it, it bring me right back to it. You know why? Because God told me long time ago, it's more than doing hell Shaquita. You're ministering to these women. You are pouring into these women. They come here to unwind. They come here to let it go. And I'm a good listener. And then half the stuff they're dealing with, been there, done that. Here's a word of advice. Love yourself. Know when it's time to go. Know when it's time to say no. Know when to shut up and listen. Know when, no, just, just know. Learn from it. Take the good with you, leave the bad behind. Period. Well, y'all already know I can go on and on and on. I just had to come and share my day. And ask for some serious prayers. And hopefully, I can go in here tomorrow on this walkie-talkie and this little language be a little better. People saying 10-4, I'm saying, all right, okay. People saying copy, I'm saying, huh? Like, what that mean? People, I'm trying to tell the people I'm going to the bathroom. I've been saying I'm going to lunch all day. I had to laugh at myself because they were dying laughing at me. Miss Taylor, you is funny. I'm not here to amuse you. I'm going to learn it, though. I'm going to learn it because it's simple. It's just tedious, but it's simple. Nothing. Nothing. I was going to wash my face and I was going to bed because I was got to go to work in the morning. Peace out. Love y'all.